Sticking with the health theme today, we want to help you keep your college student as healthy as possible for as long as possible. And one way to do that is by teaching them a few things about cleanliness before you ship them off to college. We should have taught them about the whole cleanliness thing while they were still at home, right? <laughs> Joining me now is Moxie Girl Amanda Thomas with some great tips on laundry, cleaning, and clutter. But I have a question for you. Sure. Were you uh, pretty cleanly? Were you a clean freak growing up? Um, Is that why you got into this business? You know, my mom was. I grew up on a farm, and oh. I refused to work outside, so my role was to take care of the house. When really? I was little. Yeah. Yep. I refused to go out and work with. You didn't want to get cattle. dirty, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah. Well, you are helping us sort of send the kids off to college and teaching them a few things that you'd hope that they would have learned at home, but. You know, you can't please everybody. Yep. Well, a lot of kids these days have grown up with housekeepers or moms that are taking care of them. Mm -hmm. And so they need to know these, these few little things. You know, dishes don't get done magically by themselves. They're going to find the that out the hard way. <laughs> yeah, they will. So we want to be um, proactive about it, teach the kids before they go just the simple basics so that way they're not wondering, well, how do I do this? Right. Okay, let's uh, start off. Let's talk about some laundry basics. Sure. With the laundry, first of all, um, teaching them how to separate the colors, how to do all those different little things um, to make sure that their clothes stay safe. So we have this little worksheet right here, and there's actually a link to it on our website okay. that has all those little symbols. You know, I know years ago we used to have you know everything written out on the tags, dry clean only, uh, wash and cold, but now there's a lot of little symbols and it can be really confusing. So we have this worksheet um, as a link on our website. You can go there and it'll help decode what your tags are actually okay. saying. And so that, you know, you don't turn things pink. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you want to teach them to separate the colors, make sure you wash your whites with the whites, uh, your darks with the darks. Um, how often do you need to clean your sheets? How often do you oh, need yeah. to clean your towels? Is that on the worksheet too? Does it sort of tell them how often to clean the sheets? That's not, but kind of the general rule of thumb is if you eat in bed or if, you know, your sheets are getting dirtier other ways, you want to be washing them more often. A lot of times kids aren't realizing that they need to be cleaned, we recommend once a week. Right. So um, that that needs to be part of your laundry routine. Okay. Um, teaching them how to use the stain remover, the detergent, simple things like that that you kind of take for granted as an adult. Because mom's not going to be there. Exactly. Okay, let's get down to this one. Exactly. If they're living in a dorm room, you want to have a little uh, dish pan that they can put all their dirty dishes in. Again, they're not going to clean themselves, mm -hmm. and you don't need the kids relying on the paper um, and the garbage. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to be creating a lot of waste. Teach them how to do the dishes. It can be real simple. You can get them fun, cute little towels from Target. They've got them on all different colors. They can make it entertaining. You just need your dish soap your sponge, um, and then, you know, your little pan that you can carry them down to the bathroom with. I think uh, there's a problem if they don't know how to do that yet, then, then I think they're spoiled children. Yeah, well, but that's just me. <laughs> I actually have a story from um, my freshman year of college. I left a, uh, over Christmas break, I left some stuff sitting in my dorm room over Christmas break, didn't think anything of it until I got back, and it was literally a mountain of mold. So, Ooh. you got to teach them that you can't leave that stuff over the weekend, much less Christmas break. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I bet it smelled really good, too, when you got yeah, back. Yeah, it was wonderful. <laughs> How about that? Um, basics for cleaning. Again, the dust doesn't go away by itself. You want to keep your kids healthy when they're in their dorms. And literally, they can have three supplies. We say a Swiffer, a microfiber rag, and some antibacterial wipes. They can you know, Swiffer, the dust off of a lot of stuff, dust carries a lot of allergens and, and viruses and things like that, so they want to get rid of that. Microfiber will pick up dust um, and help sanitize as well. And then you've got your antibacterial wipes. You can wipe down your desk, your doorknobs, Perfect. keep them germ-free. All right, we are out of time, but thank you so much. We're going to have all of the information on our website.